we're going to learn how to use a glove bag to work under an inert gas atmosphere for solid uh, manipulation of chemicals. First, we're going to put everything we need in the glove bag, including a frame to hold up the glove bag um, to make it easier for us to manipulate the gloves. And the frame needs to be able to fit into the opening, everything you need. Uh, I already have a tray to protect the base of the glove bag with the supplies I need for this operation. Uh, you have to think ahead because everything you need needs to be in here before you start, otherwise you have to start all over. Uh, don't put paper products, so everything here is plastic, metal, glass, don't put paper products in here because paper contains, uh, absorbs water and then that could contaminate the atmosphere. Um, if you have containers, they need to be open so that they also get purged and don't introduce air into the glove bag. Okay. You can see we made a frame, designed a frame. One of, one of your classmates designed a frame here that we will use once we're done purging the glove bag to build it up to make like a uh, support tent support. Okay, we've hooked up the glove bag to a uh, tubing to an argon tank, and the uh, argon is flowing into the bag. What we're going to do is fill the bag three times to purge it of the air. So, just like rinsing or washing the purging process, each, each cycle should remove about 90% of the air, and so by the time we're all done, we'll be at 99.9% .9 pure argon. To do the purging, we're going to actually seal the bag. We have our bag now, glove bag filled with argon. You don't want it to fill to the point where it's bursting at the seams. Um, and so we're ready to do the purge. We'll unclip the folded entrance here. And starting from the back, we're going to push the argon out and then quickly close the entrance again. Fold it up three times so that air can't get back from the side of the bag. Hold the hold together with these clips. So we'll do that a total of three times, and then we'll refill it each time we purge. Fill the bag for the fourth time. We're ready to use it, and I'm going to seat to conveniently hold the clip. Go ahead and continue to wear safety equipment, just in case the bag bursts. And you can see the gloves are uh, one size fits all, they're not really that effective. And uh, looks like we have a leak in our glove here, so that's not good. <clears throat> so you want to inspect the gloves in the bag to make sure you don't have leaking. And uh, we put our frame together so we have some support so we can work in the in the bag. Be sure uh, to not have any jewelry or sharp objects, bracelets, rings, watches. I could also poke holes in the 
has to pay for you to while you're using it. Once you're done, seal up everything that could be exposed to air, and then you can go ahead and just open the bag up, uh, let the argon out, and take everything out. You're all, you're all done with the air-sensitive part of your experiment.